key feature of that is to um, reduce or eliminate contaminants. And so it does a wonderful job at that. But it also, <laughs> and the a side effect of that, right, is that it's going, in cod liver oil, it's going to destroy almost all of the vitamin D. And a good, you know, uh, I wouldn't say all, but a good chunk of the vitamin A. So, so what happens is, and this is kind of a, um, another interesting thing is, is that um, what, what happens, people are buying cod liver oil for the natural vitamin A and D. And so when, that, when uh, most manufacturers use the molecular distillation, and then that reduces the vitamin A and D to the D almost to nothing and a significant part of the vitamin A. So at the end of the process, that it, the oil is fortified and a lot of times with synthetic vitamin A and D. So, so if you look at the label, you look, oh, it's got the vitamin A that I, and D that I expect. And so nobody's really, um, it's, it's unless you do your own homework or um, read, read somebody, some of your work or some other experts in the field, most people don't realize um, that, that these, these cod liver oils are, are fortified. So what Rosita does um, is th there is an issue of contaminants, you know, unfortunately in today's world. And so Rosita does, uh, instead of molecular distillation, which is a high heat process, um, Rosita has a a process that they use a, it's like a polysaccharide. Basically it's a natural uh, substance that will absorb the contaminants and, and leave the oil unchanged. So basically what, what you're getting is, um, it's not reducing any of the vitamin A, it's not reducing the vitamin D. And so you're, you're, it's retaining all the nutrient values in the oil. And then the other thing, just, you know, along the lines of, of molecular distillation, these uh, commercial oils go through a you know about a ten step process. So there's other things along the way that are um, basically adulterating the oil. So you're not the end product. Uh, it's you know winterized, so they're stripping out some of the stearin or saturated fats. Um, there, there's uh, deodorization and alkali refining. There's a lot of different things that are happening. So when your body um, um, receives that oil, it's not quite <laughs> what the original product was. So, um, so it's hard for the average consumer just to, to discern when you look at the label, it says cod liver oil. Well, you, you yeah. assume they're all the same and they're not.